On today's episode of Watch JR Go, I am here with Gabe and a table full of stuff that I bought on TeamU for $300. Now, there should be $200 of stuff right here, and hopefully that's everything you need to fix your car. That's what we're gonna find out today. Can you spend $200 on TeamU and get everything you need to fix your car? What is going on guys? I am Watch Jay Ergo and like I said, I'm here with Gabe and we have a table full of stuff, now you can see it all, that I forgot what I bought. So this is gonna be a fun journey of us kind of figuring out what things cost and if there's enough stuff here to fix your car. And there's also some stuff here that's not really related to cars but we'll get into it like, uh, this is a bag of fuel filters for lawnmowers. The thing is, I need them pretty often so I threw it into the mix. Yeah. I think it was $5, but we'll, we'll get to the fuel filters later. First of all, let's, uh, let's get into this. What we have is electronic diagnostic tools and general diagnostic tools, things that you might need to measure things, test things, hopefully get a good idea of what's going on with your car, no matter what it is. I didn't have a huge budget because we wanted to keep this under $200, because that's a kind of a Christmas gift range, I would assume. Sure. And I didn't want to buy hard tools. So there's no sockets, there's no wrenches, nothing like that because those kits are readily available and those always have like a pretty fixed price. You kind of know what you're getting and it's just easier to go buy them at a local hardware store, I would say. You pick, dealer's choice, what are we opening first? All right, so I'm interested in this. This is the automotive relay tester. And um, if you've ever had a relay go bad on you and tried to figure out what's going on, you know, you just keep getting some weird things going on and the relays it, how do you tell? You take it apart every time, don't you? Every single time. Every single apart, time. You're like, it's the fuse. No, it's not the fuse. It's this. No, it's not this. And then here you it are. Can't be the relay. You're prying the relay apart Oops. and you and you use your knife and you stab yourself in the hand. I've never. Oh, it's happened to me so many times. I always use my knife to open relays. No, I have someone else hold them. Oh, smart. So, yeah. Look at that. You never get hurt. That's right. right. So this is an automotive relay tester that should fit every typically sized automotive relay and you hook it up to your battery with these alligator clamps right here and you've got a switch what's the switch to so the switch oh is, four pin and five pin relay right. and then this ah, is where you're gonna plug yep. that in. and um, it has and a test button it says that your battery has to be 12 volts and you're looking at 20 ohms or more uh, resistance that's what it says is the ideal range we probably have a lot of automotive relays I'm just gonna assume that that works and I think it's a really cool thing and it was only $35 I actually just looked that one up 35 bucks nice and it could save you hours of testing in the field you know setting up alligator clips and then putting a meter on a relay and all that fun yeah. stuff jumping it you could just pull this out of the toolbox and click click and you'd know in 10 seconds I'll be honest this is something I wish I've would have had several times over now. Yeah, so. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I like that. It's almost a hard tool. It's got a label on it. <laughs> it's almost a hard no tool, hard guys. Tools, except for this one. <laughs> exactly, exactly. This one is one that I use all the time and I've always wanted a better version of it. It's got this nice red roto molded case here. Let's open it up. And here we have a hand vacuum pump, handheld vacuum pump. And you know, we have the Mighty Vac ones, the plastic ones. Right. Right. Does the pin walk out on yours? Never. The handle pin? Yeah, dude. Never. <laughs> I've no. put it back in so many that times. That pin stays put. I mean, like. This one has like a nice grip. It has a nice looking vacuum pump. Oh, that thing works. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's so fast. That actually, Look, it's impressive. Watch how fast it pulls the vacuum down. I can't really get a good seal and on that's it. That's on a finger. I mean, that's that's on a, that's do for, with a real seal. Yeah. Oh, and dude. Dual cups. cups. Nice. Man, I always need two cups. One to like drain brake fluid one into. Drain one to, yeah. That is awesome. So Look at all these. It's full of different lengths of hoses. Nice. So, okay, so these go into the case. Oh, the case holds all these. I always lose them. Some hard things here, you know, like it's not as clean as you might as get a, a as Mighty, Mighty Vac. Vac. Yeah, the Mighty Vac is, is uh, nicer edges on everything. Yeah, but it's $45. 40, that's, that's not bad for $45 because the Mighty Vac is 30 or something. This actually looks like it'd be good. And you're getting the plastic Mighty Vac for 30 and the metal Mighty Vac is like 100 and change. That's nice to have around for sure if you're doing brakes, yep. if you're sucking fluids out of whatever. I honestly, I use it all the time to do things that you shouldn't do. I just throw the hose in whatever I'm working on and use it to suck out the fluid. I don't really care. 
uh, my Mighty Vax get, they get pretty beat on. So it's good to have another one of these around. I, I agree. This is something that everybody needs and you, can, you really can't even have enough of these. So we're gonna open this guy up. You know what it is, don't you? Just based on the case. Yeah. It's a digital caliper. Standard digital caliper Absolutely. case. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's, the, it's the one obvious one. Oh, look at that. It's got instructions, but digital electronic caliper. Where's the, does it have a pull tab on the battery? It doesn't have a battery. No well, battery included? You, you BYOB. It says you need a 1.5 volt battery, which I, I do know that, but it's, a, it's an LR44 button cell, I think. That's what it looks like. Does it say that on there or anything? Battery replacement? Digital caliper, always good to have. And this is much cheaper than most other digital calipers you might buy, it's which LR44. is LR44. It's the classic button battery. So $16, Gabe, what do you think about that? You know, for 16 bucks, for a metal caliper that's digital, it's not bad. Ah, look at that, it says right on the bag. I, it helps if you read. Caliper does not include battery. Please arrange 1.5 volt LR44. So I'm, I'm gonna just, I like it. Yeah. 16 bucks, I don't think you could beat it. It's, it's hard to beat accurate measurements for $16. And accurate measurements are important many times. Inside on the caliper, outside with the caliper, you get to do it all. Yeah. Makes your life easy. I like it. What's next? Well, let's go for space foil here. That's space foil. I'm actually super interested to know what's in space foil. Was it refrigerated and I left it outside for a month? I, you know what? I, I normally don't <laughs> shake things, but this... It's M&M's. They're just ruined now. <laughs> Something that you need for working on cars. I'll eat them anyway. Chocolate. Okay. All right. All what, right. It, what do we have? A detail bottle. Oh, that goes on the detail yeah, side. We'll put this on the All detail right. Side. Well, but since we've opened it, already, we we have opened it. We have to talk about it now. We're right. obligated. So, um, you know how it goes. Whenever you're working on your car, you've got to have something pressurized in order to get whatever chemicals or stuff you're putting out there on there. Otherwise, you're just trying to use the the sprayer. Right. And this does that. Your it's a pressurized bottle. These are really nice. It pumps up on top. It's got a top pump handle and you put a bunch of pressure in it after you filled it up with like quick detailer and then you can just fog it onto the car, and whatever you need. Look at that. It's got replacement seals in it, all like kinds that. of stuff. Yeah, you got seals, so you got different spray patterns different, on here. Yeah. Ooh, and two. $12. That's not bad. $12, man. It says here in the ad that this is actually a foam cannon, although I thought it was just a traditional sprayer. I don't know how it would be a foam cannon. So, I mean, you do have, on here it says high fog, so I mean, you can definitely adjust the sprayer uh, and its pattern, but it also comes with a foam tip. Oh. So specifically for foam cannoning. Foaming. Foam yeah, cannoning. So, foam foam. so the next cool thing here after the spray bottle and our huge selection of detailing supplies there are all of these mystery boxes I have. That says 3M 10 foot. What do you think is 3M 10 foot? Probably tape. Probably. 3M 10 foot. Oh, no. I was thinking it's, like 3M tape. They're tape no, measures. But no, actual 3M. Actual. 3 meters. So, yeah. 3 meters. Tape All right. measures. I bought a bunch of tape measures because you can use those for everything. You got to measure some wheels, tape measure. You need to measure a throttle body, tape measure. You don't really need the accuracy, right? A lot of times on your car, you need the accuracy. <laughs> when you're doing big stuff, you don't need the accuracy. Maybe you need to know how long your car is. I don't know. You got a new garage and you just want to figure I mean, it out. There's I bet been ten, a few times where I've had to do that. 10 so. foot's not going to work out for measuring your car, but 10 foot tape measure. All right, so what do you notice on this first off? Uh, it has magnetic end clips. Ah. Aww. Okay, <laughs> that, I don't know if that can even go on. That's, <laughs> that's just weird. But it has, it's a push button. All right, belt, <laughs> belt clip, wrist strap, push button. And these were something like four dollars each, three dollars each. So that's why I, I, you can never have enough tape measures. Are these all, all the mystery packages here, Gabe? I think they're all tape measures. If I had to guess, I just realized that I bought a bunch of tape measures because it was a deal. They might have even been like, they might have been two packs. <laughs> Look, I got a problem. Hey, you never know. Here you go. Open another tape measure if you want. I'm 90% sure. Look at that, they're even all purple. I don't know why. I don't think it let you oh, pick a color. Oh, these are five meters. 
So yes, these are much feet. bigger, so you can measure your car. Yes, yeah. these you could. Yeah. Could. yeah. Wow. Well, some, not that not, car. Not that car. Yeah. Suburbans are huge. Cool. So we uh, threw some tape measures in here. Let's get a quick look on the price. All right, these ones are $10 and the big ones are, I think the price changed on the little ones. It shows that these are $10. Maybe it was a two pack. Is it a two pack? And then it shows these were $8. The bigger one was $8. Apparently the longer tape measure costs less than the little one now. That makes sense. But the little one's the one that you always want in your pocket when you're measuring stuff quickly. I mean, yeah. there's some truth to that. It's not huge, it's not bulky. It yeah. actually is. Very portable. Yeah. I don't know what this one is, so that one's all you. We have a head. I'm guessing that it's a pump. Oh, oh. oh it is. It's a siphon, isn't it? Yeah. Because you always need this siphon to like move fuel around, get fuel out of a gas tank. Sometimes you can get the pickup in there. That's why I picked this up. So I you think know, it, I kind of like being able to watch the valves do their thing. Yeah. You know, and you can tell. You can see feeling. the valve. Yeah. Clear valves on this. That's cool. Here's the the tank part. Awesome. The other reason I bought this is because, like I said, I always need one, and it was $1.78. I'm not surprised. That is unbeatable. And you could use it to pump gas, probably pump oil, whatever you want. I don't you know. think it hold up? I mean, only one way to find out. We'll use it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's another thing that I've always needed, I never had. Uh, Great yes. to have at home. These are you, amazing. you can have a set. Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Well, I mean, to hold. Forever and ever. <laughs> All right, you can have it. <laughs> anyway, these are brake caliper hangers, something that everybody needs in their shop, and they were really, really cheap. But when you're working on your brakes or you're working on suspension or anything like that, you get the caliper off and then you don't want to hang in by the hose, throw this on there, hook the caliper on it, and you're good to go. Yep. So. It also doubles as a. Uh, not really. Hanger for your. Not very well. Not very well. Okay. Because the rubber comes off. Yeah. And I didn't want to rip the rubber off. I didn't want to rip the rubber. It, it happens. Yeah. Wait, we can't say, we can't say any of this on that. No. It just sounded wrong. It did. All right. I will say that I really. You know, I, I use like hangers and stuff like that. Yes. For safety wire. Yep. And, but, and I've always wanted the real thing. Yeah. Yes, Why sir. Why haven't we bought the real <laughs> thing before now? Because it was expensive and then TMU. Oh. There you go. That makes sense, yeah. It That's, does. This is the best deal. This is by far the best deal. These were $3.86. See, these are great. Okay, so you've got a solid steel yep. rod that's been bent to the hanger shape and then it's got that nice coating on it, the rubberized and then the tips. That's right. Um, Less than four dollars. That's why I never bought them before. Yeah. But now I have them. So if you're working on your brakes at home, look, we got the whole setup. We got the hand pump. We got the holder. We're working on it. I think this is just general fixing things around the car, based on the, based on it sounding like a box of macaroni and cheese. It, it does kind of sound like something like electronic holder. Absolutely. Oh no. Hey. I didn't know what I did. Okay. Now so this is something you really need really? working on your car. So here we have a trim tool, and I bet this was crazy cheap. Trim tool with a nice angle. That's, you know, a lot of them don't have a sharp angle like that, and a lot of times you want that. And 100 fasteners for door panels and wheel wells, fender liners, whatever you want. There's even a secondary bend there. Two bends. Then that actually works out. I know it seems kind of redundant, but just slip it in and have that, and then have that little bit of extra leverage on it. I'm a big fan. We've all bought tons of these. And you never have the right one when the job comes. This is a pretty good assortment of them. Yep. And it was $6.78. That's crazy, man. Yeah. How many times have I spent $20 on just the tool? The Lyle one is nice. I mean. Because it's chrome. But that's a lot that's, for $6.78. $6.78, that's like what you get just for getting a three pack or a four pack of those. Yeah. Those clips, okay. I'm sold. That's All good. Right. We're not going to save the best for last. We're going to jump into the V519 OBD2 diagnostic scanner here. And this thing has a lot of protocol support. It says right on the back. Check this out. You're going to check out the manual. I don't know why. Manual. What's that for? You've got a nice little OBD2 connector here. Plug it. Oh, wow. This actually feels nice in the hand. Like, why? <laughs> feels nice. I kind of want to plug it in and see what's up. I but would also like to. That's it does live data. I know that. That's one reason I bought it. Everybody needs to see the live data on their cars, and this was 
It's crazy cheap, if I remember right. $35. It's got USB-C. Hold on. It's printable, live stream, check engine. A live data, check engine, readiness. And yeah, just live data is worth it. Yeah. And I think it can scan some ABS. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Maybe no ABS. Wow, it has a fault code library on it. I'm impressed. Does that have to be downloaded? Or? Oxygen sensor yeah, test. Maybe, but there's software updates. You can update the firmware. Nice. How impressive is that? For 35 bucks, I had to buy that. And then let's keep going with the electronics. We got to stay in the hey, electronics here. Meters, all right. Yeah. So here's something that I don't actually have one of. I've always needed. Yep. And you always need a meter when you're working on your car. I don't care what you're checking. Maybe it's just battery voltage. Maybe you're just checking your cigarette lighter to see if it's still good. You know, hold on, hold on. I don't always need a meter anymore. Well, that's now true. I have, I you got the check. relay tester to really get in there. The only downside to this is that it's all in Chinese. Yep, the Every instructions are fully in Chinese. It's Chinese. Well, it's a meter. It's pretty self-explanatory. You should not need any uh, instructions for it here. Let's see. Oh, non-contact voltage. Is that what that is? It, it says NCV. And it's got a flashlight on it. It has a flashlight on the end of it. It has an amp clamp. This was $12.41 for an amp clamp. $12.41. Okay. It's got the 600 volt CAT2 rating on it, 400 amp maximum. And it says, we just put batteries in it. I ran over the toolbox, grabbed some batteries. Beep. And we've got all kinds of functions on here. One cool one. It's got a built-in flashlight for the amp clamp. It's so bright. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of bright. Huh, it's got two off positions. That's interesting. That's twice the amount of off. Top and bottom off. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Really? Yeah. A uh, fluke would never. <laughs> That's all I have to fluke say. Fluke would never. <laughs> I, I, I don't own any other meters except for this one and the flukes. Is it auto-ranging? It is auto-ranging. That's cool. So anyway, no matter what you need to work on your car, say you just need to check out your battery, say you need to troubleshoot something simple, a light, a cigarette lighter, whatever it is, you've got the meter to do that, and it's just $12.41. This is actually like the ultimate stocking stuffer. Yeah. You should buy these for everybody. Everyone. 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 You're like, hey, you got an extra meter. You got 4,000 counts. It says 4,000 count ST180. 4, it says it right there. So these are actually pretty sharp. So you could, I could see you being able to pierce through the uh, coating pretty easily. And yeah. Test things. Of course, it's non-contact, so you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. That's cool, though. Non-contact voltage checker. But pretty sweet. You might want to get uh, read up on your Chinese, though. <laughs> <laughs> Live detection, as shown in the figure, the screen EF displays and emits a beep, and the LED flashes red, the screen displays EF, there is no beep, it is the zero line. So if it's I'm, electrical fields, could we like I'm, ghost hunting with I'm it literally something? more confused by reading about this than I was before. <laughs> it's a meter, I hope you know how to use it. All right, we'll put the meter in storage mode as you do with all meters. That's right, what else are you supposed to do? That's how you store your meter. You can, no. Hang it on a brake caliper holder. That's right, yeah, I like it. All right, so the pointless one here, we have 10 fuel filters for a lawnmower or a weed eater, whatever you need to use them for. Honestly, when you're working on that stuff, you end up throwing away a lot of these fuel filters, going through them real quick, so yeah. that's why I grabbed these. That, those aren't ever pointless. Yeah, yeah they're those are, always good to have. Yeah. So what does 10 tiny fuel filters cost? I had 10 tiny fuel filters. On the, on the 10th day of Christmas? <laughs> on the 10th. <laughs> that, uh, that was $5. All right, that's fair. I usually pay five for one, yeah. so I figured I had to do that. That's fair, so. All right, we kind of saved the best for last, and also, I was wrong. I did buy uh, some hard tools. Just based on, I picked this up, it weighs a ton. I knew. I, I, knew you I, I think I did it. What? I think it's a wrench roll. All right, so when you opened it, there was like a little bow tie there. So that, like, that's hey, literally that's, a bow. That's a bow, that man. That's a bow. That yeah. is a bow. It's like, okay. here's a gift. Unwrap that gift. Here is the wrench roll. Those are wrenches. Wow. That is not a bad set. Okay, so 19 to 8. 19 to 8. No skips. What? No skips. Ratcheting wrenches. Ratcheting wrenches. Flexible head ratcheting wrenches. No skips. This might be a deal. Guess what it costs. No cheating. I'm what? gonna say about tree fitty. <laughs> you have to guess for real. What's a normal set cost if you buy, you know, a known brand. Uh, okay, so most 
sets that you get don't go from 8 to 19. Yeah, no skips is crazy. Because yeah, you'll be lucky if you get from like 8 to 16 with that's, most of these. So, that's right. Um, probably 50 bucks is what you'd pay for a good quality set. Lies. You don't think you'd pay 50 bucks? No, I've bought so many of them and I think it's more like 120. Really? Yeah, well, oh I yeah. I wait for the sales. Flexible head ratchet wrenches? I, I wait for the sales. <laughs> I was like, these, I, I think these are expensive. Here, let's find out. These actually seem like they're fairly decent. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I just looked up the red brand. Red brand? The red brand. Is that Craftsman? No. The, the red brand we all know and love. Oh, Toro. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> and they have a flex head ratchet and wrench set. No skips, 15 pieces. This one is 11 pieces, $300. This was $51, $51, and it's in a wrench roll. That one's in a plastic case. Wrench rolls are actually nice sometimes. I do like the wrench roll. I used to hate them. I used to be like, man, why wouldn't you want a real case or a toolbox? Yeah. But now you're like, what if I could just pick up all the wrenches at once? At once and then throw them in a bag. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Throw them in the back of your car. All right. You've got all the wrenches. $51 flexible head ratchet wrench set. So definite That's W on that. That's good. That one's a deal, man. Like we kind of saved the best for last. We're not quite to last yet, but this is something that's a great Christmas gift that you can give to somebody else. I don't, I'm not personally a big fan of dash cams. Obviously that's what it is. I don't use one because it's like a double-edged sword. Yep. You know, if you ever get in trouble for something, you're in an accident, whatever it is, it's evidence against you just as much as it is against them. So some people are cool with that, but dash cams are nice to have. And some days I'm like, man, I wish I had a dash cam so I could make fun of whatever just happened. You gotta have it freak to blow. I mean, just like on oh. convoys and stuff, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, all the radios are rig. You got them. Absolutely. Dead quarters and ready, so. So we have a dash cam here with a built-in screen and a suction cup and everything, I think everything but an SD card. It might even have an SD card. Oh, look at that, IR illumination. You can flip the camera. Oh, dual cameras. What? This is dual cameras, front and back cameras. USB-C. It looks like it might have a microphone in. This is actually really decent. Okay, so you got a 170 degree wide angle. G sensor, recording, loop recording. Loop recording, so it just keeps going, rewriting the SD card forever. Super nice. Video resolution is uh, 1080p. 1080p, little cigarette lighter to power it. Oh, USB-C power from the cigarette lighter. And a suction cup, so everything's in here but an SD card. Now that you've checked out the specs on this bad boy. I don't believe it. How much do you think it is? Not that. <laughs> I Wait. Don't, I don't believe it. That's it says there's a memory card. Yeah, it, something like 32 gigs. Yeah, why does it say there's a 32 gig memory card? Where's it at? We must have lost it. it. It didn't make it into this one. That's all I can say. Because we did not lose anything. But it's supposed to come with an SD card, and it's twenty-seven dollars. Bro, I, twenty-seven dollars. It's a lot of technology for twenty-seven bucks. So this is, wait. Yeah, that camera spins. Well, it's for the. That way you can aim it to your yeah. passengers. You know, check it out. Put the little. That's a nice little clip on. Yeah, there you go. Locked in. Ready to mount it on a car. There you go. Merry Christmas. I keep the brake hooks. You get this. No. <laughs> Man! Those, those brake hooks are gold. The brake hooks it's, are gold. It's worth more than this. This, I will say, is something you can absolutely give to anyone as a stocking stuffer. And it's probably, it's, you know, it's going to work. It's super cheap. Yeah. So if you want a better one, you could upgrade later. It's a good starting ground. I, I'd definitely be interested to see how well it does. Yeah. Ooh, look, new old stock. And what we have here is nice. Watch out, it's going to blow! Look, it says right on it, it's NOS. Yeah. Yeah, so we got the gold foil on the box. Well, it's hard to open. Do you think it's all the NOS? Probably. Did it, did it leak? Watch out, oh, I know what this is. I wasn't sure for a minute. This is a NOS air freshener. <laughs> I was like, I have to have that. I'm, I hate air fresheners, right? You know I hate the Felony Forest. I hate anything hanging from my mirror because I want a clean line of sight. Oh, 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 don't lose the lemon. Okay, drop the lemon in, and boom. Just like that, we have a NOS. Oh, wow. Isn't that? That's. It does, it smells good. Very effervescent. We could just put it in the toolbox and it would smell great in here. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It smells great. Anyway, I think that's, uh, I don't remember, but I think it's $3.
and that's another great stocking stuffer. Okay, that is. You can't even be upset about that. Three bucks. What does a black ice air freshener cost? A dollar or two? Three dollars. It smells like uh, the lemon Pez. Yeah, it does smell it like, smells it smells like. exactly like lemon Pez. I was wrong about the air freshener, it's actually six dollars. That's still not bad. Oh man, they have Toyota like GR Sport ones and they're metal bars and they have Crocs ones. Some people might be into the Crocs ones. I just figured this was small, it's not annoying to have on your dash and it's not a bunch of weight on the vent. Yeah. So I, I'm a fan of that. And the last thing we have here, it's a very dubious device. This is a GPS car tracker that was outrageously cheap. Maybe you're doing Turo or something like that and you need to know where your cars are at. I don't think it has like cellular though, so it might not solve your problems. I think this actually just records GPS location whenever it has power, and then you can like hook it up to a computer and play it back. It literally comes with a USB cable, USB-A to micro, and it says GPS, and that's it. What do the instructions say? Still trying to figure that out. It says it tracks wherever it has power, I'm assuming. Oh, look, it's supposed to have a little, so, a little uh, sticky thing, but it doesn't. It says it needs a SIM phone card. This needs a SIM card and a memory card? Yeah. How? How do you, does it open? Regardless. You're kidding. It definitely has a SIM card slot, yeah. and it definitely has a micro SD slot in the front of that. Okay, that's, that's cool. Wow, so it actually can do live tracking, like it's, it's, a, it's a phone. This is a cell phone. So, yeah, send a message to the alarm locator. Oh, and it'll go off? It'll, yeah, so it'll huh. be a responder. Apparently it's got a strong magnet, so it'll, you can just put it anywhere. Oh, it does have a magnet. Look at that, it's magnetic. I love this, okay, regardless of the alarm locator on the cart, children bag, the old man's pocket, valuables bag. <laughs> This was $5.48, it might have been $4.58. $4.58, there's two listings for it, right beside each other, same device. It's less than $5. That's impressive. That's crazy for a cell phone. All right, we're gonna go over the rest of this real quick. We've got a bunch of zip ties, because you always need zip ties to work on your car. Always. Eight inch zip ties, 1,000 of them. I think it was like $7 or something like that. So honestly, a great deal for a ton of zip ties. What do we have next? We have brushes, brushes, wheel brushes. Always need, Always need wheel brushes. These were super cheap as well, maybe $5. A huge pack of brushes for vents. Yeah. Uh, stereos, whatever you need, all your interior stuff. This is all stuff I didn't have. Make sure you don't knock over the NOS though. Yeah, I don't want to hit the NOS. Yeah. Uh, more brushes for cleaning vents, whatever you need. These are some of the best brushes for sure. Okay, so these look like wet wipes? Yes, but, but for, uh, glass. for glass. Glass they're wipes. Glass oil film removal whips. Perfect for inside your car when it gets all nasty and you need to wipe it down real quick and you always grab your shirt or a hoodie or something and clean the windshield. Grab those. Yep, and then microfiber. Microfiber. Microfiber drying towel. And then larger microfiber. This thing's huge, isn't it? It seems like it's pretty big. Oh, there's 10. Just kidding, there's 10 of them. That's uh, the detailing stuff's about another $100 with the spray bottle and all the microfiber and all the brushes and stuff that I wanted, but there's about 200 bucks right here, and that, it seems like you could do some work. Yeah. So what would you say is your favorite out of the detailing stuff? Out of the detail? Just oh, the detailing stuff. these specific brushes, but also these specific brushes because they're microfiber for vents. Yeah. Because that's always a pain, so you know. you don't know? use like the goo to like stick Oh, absolutely to not. No, no, no. Just stick that in there, run it back and forth, and nice. vent is clean. So that, and I'll, I've always wanted one of those big bottles, you yeah. know, there. What specifically would you use these for? <clears throat> I mean, you've got some pretty long bristles. They look like they're soft. Yeah, so you spray the whole interior down with like interior detailer, and then you just brush the whole thing. With? You can, yeah, so you, you can, can, you can, absolutely. Interesting. Especially if you're buying bulk interior, like CarPro interior or something like that. It's a great solution. Put that in there, spray down the dash, and go to work. Because you gotta go through every crevice, make sure every switch is clean, make sure everything's perfect, basically. And those brushes make it really easy to do that. Nice. What's your favorite thing out of the stuff that, for actually working on cars? It's tough. It is kind of tough. Kind of tough. You know, so I hate to, to break it down to something so simple as this, but. Uh -huh. Brake hooks. These, I can't tell you how many times I've like had it just trying to move that stuff out of the way. Yep. And the wire, either you didn't tie it well and it falls or the hanger slips or whatever. So between this, and I'm anxious to try the, uh, the relay tester out. Relay tester, super interesting. I was gonna say something else like the amp clamp because I've always needed one. It's nice to have an amp clamp, although that's just an AC amp clamp. 
So I'm not gonna say that's really the amp clamp for working on your car, because you need a DC amp clamp. Yeah. And obviously the meter works just fine on DC, so the meter is definitely a huge plus and crazy cheap, but the brake hooks, everybody should be getting those brake hooks in their really stockings. <laughs> that's, a, that's the thing to order. Hang the stocking with the brake That's hook. it, dude. Yeah. yeah, everybody gets a brake hook. One, only one, so it makes their life difficult but when they have to go. Family, I mean, that's you're good to go. Yeah, as long as your family, Four people, you're good. As long as your family works together to work on breaks. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjrgo.com for cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Boy, we made one big pile of trash behind us, this but is... the wrenches, man, the wrenches are. I'm impressed. Okay, I so... really. It was hard to pick between wrenches and the brake hooks. $51. It's only because I have so many wrenches. Yeah. But I, I don't have any brake hooks. Oh, okay, okay. But how many ratcheting flex heads do you have? All of them. All right, fine. Uh, yeah, well, except for the box wrenches. You know, yeah, just... yeah. I just know I've paid so much money for like, I've got the gear wrench sets, I've got the Icon sets, they're all excellent, but it's, all, it's more money than that. And let's not forget the Honda Moto Compacto sitting in the background. If you really need the ultimate Christmas gift for somebody, Moto Compacto it up. It's $1,000. You could outfit a full shop on Team U for that. But uh, okay. boy, is it fun. This is my favorite. It's Gabe's favorite thing, this too. He's, he's been playing with it for a minute here. That's it. Got to love it. I like this. Just go to your local Honda car dealership. That's where you buy them. You actually buy them on this thing called the Honda Dream Shop, and they deliver it to the car dealership. I still don't know how this car has zero coats found. That screen is crispy. It, I thought it was full color, but it looks like it's just... No, it's full color. Oh, it, oh, it was? Yeah. Okay, okay. View the data. Oh, nice. Load, coolant tab. Is that shift feature one, yeah. long feature? Oh, short fuel trim, long fuel trims. Ah. All of, this is pretty usable for troubleshooting. 690 RPM, fuel rail pressure 46, map 31, IAT 64. Nice. Well, this is actually very useful. Surprisingly, for $35, it's useful. Bro, that's that's all right.